We're doing a room, Andrew. Finally. A room. It's only taken us like game. six hours. One to of get the here. only parts of the game that is 3D instead of a series of screenshots. Hello, Armor Man. Uh, I thought he was doing two thumbs up for a second there. Like, hey. Does he have a slingshot in his hand? Uh. It looks like a slingshot. It looks it. like the inside of a light bulb. Oh, yeah. And that's like a. I don't know what that is. Short uh, spear. I guess you took it. To I guess find I know out. what it is. Yeah, I immediately took it. That's a spear? Do we have a voice for this kid? Uh, n probably not. He's been unconscious the entire video game. <laughs> oh my god, I think this is like the first time we have to give Quark a voice. <laughs> so he's got a spear instead of a sword? This is a really short spear, though. Yeah, you look at the tip head on, it looks kind of like a diamond. A diamond, huh? Yep, that's a slingshot. That's a slingshot. <laughs> yeah, slingshot! <laughs> I, like the, I like it being said in three voices. Yeah. That's a slingshot, a slingshot. A slingshot! <laughs> yeah, the most impressive weapon, but it's simple as hell, and it won't jam like a gun. Uh, I Thanks mean... for explaining... But the rubber band can break. to us. Okay. Yeah. That is a slingshot, I guess, yeah. Huh. What's your, what's your deal? A suit of armor. Well, it's not really a full suit of armor, is it? I mean, it's missing the helmet. That's what we call it. I'm not sure. You know, normal suits don't have helmets either. Uh, yeah. Checkmate, Temmie OG. <laughs> Checkmate, Atheist. Well, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a suit of armor, okay? Suit yourself. Ha, ha, ha. Get it? Ha, suit yourself. Suit yourself. Suit yourself before you, uh, suit yourself. Something. Before you loot Some. yourself. Uh, anyway, it's got some red paint on the neck and shoulder area. Are you sure it's paint? It could be blood. Why yeah, would you say that? It'll be blood. But hey! Don't say stuff like that. Being in a room with a headless suit of armor is creepy enough. What the, the teleporting this? pad? <laughs> what is this? What is that? It's one of those vacuum robots you see on TV. When did Roombas get like Star Trek Enterprise like side things? When they were Roombas for the Star Trek. I'm sorry, nacelles. <laughs> I learned that word from that part where I literally learned the word nacelles and what it meant in Star Trek, not from watching the show, but from putting two and two together when uh, Plinkett was doing the looks like everyone's got a case of the not gays joke. Oh. And they had like the, uh, they had Scotty going, uh, specifically having the weird like, uh, he wants to fuck the nacelles or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you got me! Looks like a machine of some sort! Well, is, is it turned on? Don't think so. Let's see if... Nope, no luck. Huh! Nothing! Might as well give up. Yeah. Let's let's go look at something else. We can always come back to it later. Right. Do you think that they mathematically equalize how many times every single person shows up into rooms with you? Or do you think that there's a massive preference for certain characters? I imagine there's a massive... Well, given that Quark is basically unconscious <laughs> for like 90% of them. of them. A bookshelf. There's some paint inside it. Yeah, that's weird. You know what's really bothersome? You have to line that up with the armor suit? I want to point this out, is that, like, it gets kind of tedious to when you click on something and they have to describe it in, intri like, intricate detail, but it's a visual novel. I can yeah. see it's a bookshelf, and I can see it has paint on it. Nah, I, I need that to be explained. Do you? Yeah. How the fuck do you tell it's paint? Well, you know what I mean. Look I, at the I can bottom see. of it. It's like it's looks like a pamphlet that's sticking out in front of the tip of the wood. It is sticking out in front yeah. of the wood. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it almost can't be paint. But the point I'm saying is, how badly rendered it is. The point I'm saying is like you can see those things. Yeah. I don't need like visual assistance on that. I think it's mostly just a confirmation that you can click on it or not, because sometimes some sometimes you can click on something and it's readily apparent that it's clearly what it is, but you can't do anything with it yet. Yeah. And if they don't say anything, you might think you can't click on it at all. But yeah, it's, it's there's a lot of redundant stuff, though. Huh. This is cheap brandy. 
alcohol this bad shouldn't even exist. So I think it's best if I dispose of it safely with my... I'll be taking that. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> Cheap hey. brandy. Oh. Oh. It's like I got a weird Sonic the Hedgehog brand on the outside. I thought that there was the, a that ring. That was the ring on the pad? I thought there was the ring. I thought the thing was inside of the, yes. the drink. That's what it looked like. there's just shit inside the drink. But no, it's the label. And it looks really dumb. Huh. Zero Senior must be a real tight, tight wad if he's stuck in this cheap stuff. Might as well be water. Uh, have you seen how expensive this whole place is? I don't think Zero may or may not be on Mars. <laughs> it's on Mars. Uh, I think I've had a realization. Yeah. So... We're on Mars. Uh-huh. Maybe. Maybe. But if we assume we're on Mars... Which we are. And we've established that there's a robot with AI on this place. Which there is. Are we all robots? No. Is one of us a robot? No. I think we're a robot. Nope. I think specifically Sigma's a robot. Nope. And that'll be the twist. Nope. Because wouldn't that be the twist you'd go for? No. Like they set up someone has to be a robot. That's why there's a robot set up. It's like, oh my god, look, they're so convincing. They could be people if they just had skin. And they even said they could have skin. And we established that from that point on. And then that, from that point on, we're like, oh man, how are we going to test who's a robot or not? Like, do we have to cut into them or something like that? Uh, Dio. I think, no, Dio's a clone. You think he's a clone and a robot? Why not? <laughs> redundant as shit. It is really obnoxious. Would it be redundant as shit? Did you say that? It, I, I feel it like... is pretty obnoxious how this universe that it introduces the idea of like, oh my god, there could be doppelgangers of people introduces both clones and robots in the same narrative. Yeah. So that it could be a clone or a robot or a robot clone. Well, Whoa. well because technically K is a clone of us if we're taking the the so fact I, that Sigma so said that it, it it looks like it's just me, literally, then it would be like, like this a is clone. the type of narrative where a twist like has to happen. Well yeah. It obviously will happen. And I, I'm just waiting for the twist to be like uh, that freaking Sigma's a robot. And that K is the real one. Because K, K has memories of a childhood. And we were like, oh no, we were going to PhD and we were just here. And that's like all we get out about ourselves when K is like has a whole childhood to talk about. Oh, right. I can't help but wonder if he's the real Sigma and we are like a robot duplicate or something. If we're the robot, then that does. Wait, we're, we're how does a robot the, have morphogenic feels? We're also, we're also the only person we never see bleed. Everyone else always bleeds, but we just keep dying from our own perspective, and we never see ourselves bleed. And I can't wonder if we're just fake. But yeah, but we, we just but mysteriously we, get deactivated. But then, how do we die from this uh, soap roll? We're programmed to die when we fail. <laughs> it could just be a thing that tells us to die. Oh no, it could be a simulation because remember, Zero controls all of the. Are you wondering? Wait, are you wondering if the entire game's a simulation? No, no, it's no. Than a hologram. I'm saying that remember the ro remember the Cogni robot said that Zero has control of like they are the Cogni robots are basically like the arms and legs of Zero. So theoretically, Zero could just be like and lop off the Sigma arm. Are we Zero? <laughs> we could be. The um. I can't help but wonder if like if we are on Mars, which I'm still not entirely sure. We but are. It feels like it. Either we're on Mars, or there's a, for some reason, the Titanic in this case is on Mars, and we're on the fake Titanic. <laughs> like, it could be that the, uh, that, the, that the real facility is on Mars, and the copy of it is in Nevada. <laughs> well, there is a copy of it in Nevada. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, what if we're in that one? But the, uh, uh, that's frustrating. Uh, but if we were on, if we, went, if we did do space travel, it'd probably be cheaper and easier to, instead of kidnapping people and shipping them to Mars, just turn on, like, upload their consciousnesses and, like, just, and then just, like, activate, like, their clones or their machine copies over here. Oh, what if everyone is a clone? Yeah, or everyone's a robot. It's really annoying how those are both options. <laughs> it could be. This game, man. This game. Oh my god. The real reason she's so pure is that she's a hologram. <laughs> I would be so mad if something's wrong with Luna. Luna's oh, just no. too perfect. <laughs> I love how that's like the number one complaint we get the co in the comments. It's like, you guys overthink too much and go into your stupid ideas. And Andrew's Sorry the one that makes right me believe in like stupid like theories. I'm like, no, 
It's not. It's just called having fun because you can't have it otherwise. <laughs> Stop doing commentary and this thing about commentary. Just press A a lot and don't think about anything. Is it really that bad? You're wrong sometimes, which means you should just never speak. <laughs> yeah, which is weird. You'd think that in a mystery you would want to guess what the solution is, but I guess yeah. not. We're not allowed to. I guess the problem is because we, we get... If we don't get it right the first time, that means we shouldn't talk. I, well, no, I think the problem is that so we So in believe... case it's somehow not incredibly obvious, this is the first episode we're recording after the first episode finally aired in the series. Yeah. So this will give you a grand perspective of how far off we are. Uh, we started recording the series three months ago, and Ew. we're still going. And the first episode just went up, like, a couple days ago. And we're doing our first recording session since it's, then. I think so the, the comments are coming in. Yeah. I think the people... The problem people have is that, uh... What's it called? Um, is that we come up with a theory and then we just believe that theory until we're proven wrong and somehow that's a problem because then we... Isn't that how you do mysteries? But then we make fun Isn't of the game. Isn't that what the characters in the game do? Yes, but then we make fun of the game because of those theories that we have. So people are like, you can't criticize a game when you don't even know the full thing about the game. And it's like, well... That's the only way to do commentary yeah, on a game I, you haven't beaten yet. It's also just how like, a mystery we, we're works. We're well aware of the fact that all the magic secrets and twists are all going to happen right at the end, but we have to talk about it for the 50 hours up until then. We can't just be like, well, me never know. Better for the doubt know that, old chap. And then we just don't criticize anything or talk about anything because well, that might be the exact thing that comes up later. Which, la which, by the way, this time we're even more right to talk like this than last time because we have the additional experience of knowing that no a lot of the shit won't come up later yeah wow remember remember the ending hey 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 andrew remember the ending of 999 where it was really important to understand ice nine and a mummy well the mummy did come up did it though yeah no she wasn't in the ship the mummy the mummy never came up there was a random hitchhiker, which was then revealed later to not be a mummy anyway. Yep. And also, Ice Nine never mattered at all? Yeah. If I remember correctly? They kept bringing it up again, but like, at the end of the day, it was just... Well, I think Some the, guy I, wanted to clear his face blindness, and that was it. Yeah. So he was trying to use morphogenic field somehow to do that, which was a tenuous at best motivation for the whole experiment of how that would even work. I guess he would know who people were by contacting an alternate timeline of himself where he didn't I have face he, blindness. No, I think he wanted to be able to, to read other people's minds, essentially, and based on that, be able to see the faces of all the other people in the room, I guess via their experiences, and other people could identify people hit for him. It was, I have no it idea was, what this guy wanted. I think that all he had to do was be a mad scientist that wants to that wanted uh, morphogenic field research because he could use exploit it for his own benefit. But instead, he's, he had the incredibly specific problem of a weird disease that wouldn't even be fixed by it, probably. Yeah. And that was mostly just a contrivance for him to murder the wrong person because he's that bad that even though he's been had, had face blindness, presumably for 60 years, he still can't operate well enough with it that he will murder his his own compatriots thinking that they're strangers. <laughs> by the way, I think we would have almost beaten that game twice by now. That's how long this has been going on. Well, I'll admit I can't be sure. It's hard to really judge a brandy until you taste it. So... No. Oh. Wow, he is an alcoholic. Yeah, he is. Here, here's a, here's some alcohol. Oof. Taste it. Just slingshot the spear. Jesus. <laughs> oh. That coaster's green. It looks like that there used to be a bottle on it. Whoa, what? Do you, want, do, 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 do you have past blindness? <laughs> Tablet. Oh. What if that was uh, the... I'm missing the battery again. What if that's the entire solution here? Trying to cure past blindness. Ah, now it's an L. <laughs> Just like the guy in the armor. Oh, there's a way to move these books out of the way. Literature. <laughs> we just took literature. Oh yeah, have you ever seen? You ever, don't you have the four-part volume on literature? I guess they. I guess they told him to tone it back on the reference. On the shell Drake and shit. Now yeah. it's just literature. Volumes one, two, three, and four out of four. That's all of the literature ever. Wow. Yeah, it looks like a collection of literary analysis. Do you think it has any hints to help us get out of here? If it does, we're screwed. I think we starved to death before we got through all four of those tomes. Just rapidly turn the pages till you get to the red one. The ones that have like red markings or something. Philosophy. <laughs> Historical adventure. Wait, what? <laughs> we're gonna go on an adventure through there's, history. There's like, literature. Uh, there's literature. Yeah. Uh, philosophy. Yeah. 
Historical adventure. Yeah. Uh, I can't what? go to this, by the way. This giant obvious door you think you'd want to go to? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you. Hello. Hi. There's red paint on the wall. It looks like there's an outlet right next to it. Why would somebody put an outlet this high up? Well, that's probably not an electrical outlet. It's clearly not. Yeah. You can see the wood behind it. Yes. It's not. It's not even a hole in the wall. What is it then? I think you're supposed to insert something into it. Yeah, which would make it do an L shape. And yes, audience, you are getting the one voice I can do. It's yeah. the one voice. <laughs> the one I use in every playthrough. Meanwhile, Andrew's just killing himself. <laughs> it was the rat in Zenith. It was uh, uh, Greg in Night in the Woods. <laughs> what's this? Nope. You fucked oh, it up. What's this? I checked it out earlier, but I think it's just a business card holder. A business card holder? Yeah. It's a file where you put business cards. It's also the voice of Dress. <laughs> I'm terrible. Uh, they've all got these weird shapes on the back. I think maybe if you line them up in a particular way, then you'll get some sort of hint. Place the business cards in the correct order. What the fuck? What the Is this fuck? Puzzle? By selecting the business card and then another, you can swap their positions. Huh. Well, I guess we can give it a shot. Uh, what? No. <laughs> no. It can't be that easy. <laughs> or can it? What is this? Oh, that's the go, isn't so it? So Ian. Yeah. And Kate. Uh, and then John and Kate. Yeah. J and then Tony and Kate. L M N O P Q O L M. Is that right? Yep. Uh. The oh, fuck. So we were wrong. Okay, so we have to make a picture apparently. Why can't we just use this side? <laughs> Why can't we just rearrange these ones <laughs> yeah. until they do something? Oh, so it's gonna make like a password, probably. All right. What is that? Mm -hmm. What? Wrong one. Oh, the mirror effect, right. I gotta mirror everything I do, just to make it more confusing. Uh. <laughs> that may have not been actually useful. Okay. Uh. <laughs> it looks less like a K than I thought it would. How do you know what you're trying to make? Um, I would probably put uh, that bottom one with the top one. What? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I know what you're, t I know what you're looking at. Oh, yeah, uh, the bottom middle with the top middle. These two together? Bottom middle. So... What? Here? Yeah, this one right here and this one up top. Why would they go together? I don't know. It just seems like they would. But they clearly don't fit together. Like at all. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> you're an insane person. Why are you the crazies? Um... Should we look for clues first? Do you think there might be like actual evidence of what we're trying to make somewhere? I have no idea. Because this is noise. I'm gonna look around first, and we're, this might not be solvable yet, and I'd rather not waste my time if it's not. Uh, I don't get it. Maybe you don't have enough information. We do not. Hello. Ah, it's not opening. Is it locked? Yeah, it looks like it. I don't see anything that looks like a keyhole, though. There's this diamond-shaped hole in the middle, though. Do you think we're supposed to stick something in there? Like a key? Like a Probably. diamond? Well, well, what do we have here? Haven't seen a computer this old in a while. There's something on the screen. 
Is that a lion eating a hamburger? Yes. Yes. That's what it is. Canonical. I uh, really don't think so. I think the lion's got two heads. Looks like a monster from Greek myth or something. It looks like it's asking for an ID and password underneath the lion. Huh. So we're going to find the username and password here and then put it in the other timeline, probably. The keyboard doesn't seem to be working, though. I guess we can't enter anything, then. <sighs> but up, up, but up, up. Sup? What's this? I am sorry, Dave. I can't let you do that. <laughs> One of the training machines you see on late night infomercials. Yeah, I think it's a facial recognition device. But what? You put your hands on either side and hold your face in front of that lens. It's a device that recognizes your face. A face is the most self-explanatory possible name for a thing, and you're a PhD student. You fuck. <laughs> then it checks your face against whatever it's got in its database. Oh. Huh. How'd you know that? Because everyone knows that! I'm, this, I'm in the salvage business. Your answer should have been because I'm human in modern day, which is the future. <laughs> Every so often, one of these babies shows up. This is 10 years in the future. You're going to tell me they don't know about facial recognition? No. It doesn't look like it's turned on. Yeah, nothing happened when I put my face in front of it. There's something to the right of the lens over there. It looks like an awful lot like a keyhole. If we had a key for it. You think maybe we could turn it on? I assume so. Click. Okay. Click. What about the computer down there? Click. Everything just takes you here. Oh. Yep. Hello, Blue. Uh, excuse me, what? Are we <laughs> playing the escape room thing I again? I don't know. Can we just... That's... This is a reoccurring thing, huh? Yeah. It's the second balloon we've seen in this game alone, let alone the balloon we saw in that really bad escape room, which I'm now wondering if they played this game. And that's why they had such bad ideas for escape rooms. Probably. A balloon. You want it, Quark? I don't need a balloon. I'm not a kid. <laughs> eh. Really? How old are you? I'm 20. What? No way. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's wait. really startling when you just pick stuff up. What? You just stole a globe from this a balloon? I know. I need. No, I clicked on the globe on the shelf. Oh. It was in the background. It's really startling when you click on something and it just gets picked up with no context or conversation when it's something that you don't think you actually are going to pick up. Yeah. Like if I expect to pick it up like a key card, I'm like, oh yeah, there it goes. But with something, I'm like, oh, it's a globe. Oh, I wonder what they'll say about this one. Ah, it's in my face. <laughs> hey, globe! Doesn't it look kind of weird? I think somebody glued a piece of paper to it. We'll see if we can get it off then. A world map. Oh, it's gone now. Goodbye globe, we ripped the map off of the globe. That's not what globes are for. You don't just rip the map off. Uh, it is now. Ah. It's bad conduct. World map. Uh, okay. This looks familiar. Yeah, we had a world map puzzle in the previous game. Looks, uh -oh. like, looks like there's zero escape from maps. <laughs> no, 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 no. Those dots, those colors, the colors on the dots look familiar. Wasn't that part of a door puzzle? Maybe. We recently had that one awkward one where we had to draw a bunch of lines. Remember that one? Yeah. But we beat that one, didn't we? I think so. I believe so. Uh, it'll make contact. It'll make sense in some other context. Boo, 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 boo. Hey, look more paint. Uh, I bet we place this on the shelf and it creates something. We're gonna take we're gonna find all these random objects and we're gonna put them on the shelf. Yeah, we're gonna put them on the sh the painted shelf in specific locations and they're gonna create a word or something. Well they're gonna create the solution to the puzzle that we can't figure out right now. Could be, yeah. There's a screen built into the credenza. There's something on it. Starting, Starting up. up. Please, Please wait. wait. That's creepy when it's both voices. <laughs> yeah. What is it starting? Beats me. Well, my money says it just means it won't do squat if you mess with it right now. How about you go have a look at something else? Open it. It actually opened. All right. 
Yeah, this is Brandy. Fear appearance, 200 year old reserve. Should you drink 200 year old beer or alcohol? I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, isn't it supposed to age or something? Not 200 years. I don't know. People are always like, wow, that was a good year. And they're being like, oh, they're so hype. It's a thousand year old brandy. Yeah, because people are like, dumb. Well, this whiskey is. I don't know anything about alcohol. I think it all sucks. It just... <laughs> it's like, I'm like Ugh. why am I doing this to me? It makes me feel bad and taste bad and is expensive. These are all bad things. <laughs> and if you drink enough, all your secrets leak out. <laughs> you can tell that just by looking at it. I can smell it! You might be an alcoholic. That's some nose you've got there. Here, just let me have a taste! I don't think so. How can you be so cruel? Yeah, Sigma, why are you being so cruel? Yeah, let the alcoholic kill himself. Yeah, or let him have a taste. Fuck it. <laughs> you don't know his life. Could be poison. Ho. <laughs> just says ho on it. I like how we we clip through the balloon. <laughs> Laser? Put the brandy there. Oh. <sighs> I didn't even ma mean to select it. It just, it just happened. Wrong brandy, but... Well, putting the expensive brandy on the coaster didn't seem to do anything. The laser beam just went right through it. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? If you keep frying it with that laser, you're going to ruin the brandy. Is that true? Pull it out of there right now. I mean, yeah, heating it up is probably a bad idea. What if it's a cold laser? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> the left section has a laser shot. Oh. I was trying to put it down, it wouldn't work. Look! The laser beam's bending it all around inside the bottle. Yeah, I made a parallelogram. You know parallelogram, but not facial recognition device? Yeah. It's making a parallelogram in the brandy bottle. Okay. okay, so I guess we just keep that. All right, moving on with my life now. <laughs> moving on with my life. Moving on up. There's the safe. And we're there's out of moving on. There's our best friend. Oh, what if we put the brand, the yeah. expensive brandy there? Because of the paint. Yeah. I tried putting the good brandy on the coaster, but uh. But oh, what? <laughs> he just stopped. What? But what? We have a spear, a slingshot, some books for some reason. I guess we should inspect the books in case there's something inside them. Philosophy. I think these are philosophy books. Their stuff in here is pretty sophisticated. What? What? So the liter literature books are literary analysis books, but the philosophy books aren't philosophical analysis books. They're just philosophy books. How do you know the literature books aren't just literature? Like, here's Huck Finn. <laughs> I. I'm amazed you get that far. I flipped the first one open in my brain, just said, screw this, I'm out. Aren't you a PhD student? What the fuck, dude? Why'd they write that part of his character if they're never going to use it? <laughs> my historical adventure. Uh, yeah, historical adventure saga. There are three volumes. Okay. So these are all worthless. Three, three, four. Short, short spear. spear. It's short. short. <laughs> if you look at the blade from the top, it looks like a diamond. Oh. So okay. how about doing that? Okay. That's important. Can you use that? Wait, wait. No, 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 no. Uh, okay. It's diamond. Well, I was going to say, maybe you want to use a spear to pop the balloon. Maybe. Well, it would not go away if I could use it again. True. It opened. And that uses the facial recognition thing. There's something in here. Is it a key? Small key. Why would... Okay. Just seems weird that a key is necessary to turn on a device. Yeah. That isn't... in Like, doesn't have an engine. It's two-part security. Whoa, the light on the top turned on. Looks like you managed to turn it on. Okay, I guess use it. All right, it's on. Now what? Well, why don't we give it a face to look at? One of ours? Yeah. Damn. None of our faces worked. Now it's going to explode. Self-destruct process initiated. <laughs> face not recognized. <laughs> Gender mismatch. Oh, a woman's face. We need to find a female picture somewhere. What does it mean by gender mismatch? What, do you, what the fuck do you think it means? 
I mean, unless it just decided one of us is trans, it probably means that the person's a woman. Huh. Maybe it's saying that it needs a girl? Well, there's only three of us and none of us are women. Well, maybe if we dress Quark up like a girl. No, no way. Why don't you dress up then? No. Just thinking about that it is making me want to puke. That's Oh, you. sorry. No, just thinking about that is making me want to puke. Besides, do you see a wig or makeup or anything around here? I see a balloon. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, just one boob. <laughs> yeah, just one boob. That's, that's the whole. That's the entire transition. Quark has a <laughs> giant. It. Quark has Quark has a giant uniboob. How would any of us dress up like a woman anyway? Well, in a, a lot of Japanese fiction, there's things called androgyny. <laughs> and you're right in there right now. Dude, you totally want to do it. No, I don't. <laughs> this is a long silence. Hey! Wait a minute. Maybe. What is it? Do you have an idea? Well, it can't hurt to try. Yeah, definitely worth a shot. You notice how the soundtrack periodically has like an alarm in it? Yeah. I keep, I'm like, what's happening? Huh? How long has he had that in his pocket? It looks like a piece of paper. No, it's a picture. Oh yeah, I remember him looking at that in the infirmary. It's it's going to be the picture of the woman who's dead, isn't it? Who, yeah. Who we assume is his, his, his wife. I guess it's worth a shot. What if she's the one that was on the Mars call? Wasn't there a woman that's like, everyone's dead? Yeah, it's probably her. Yeah. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. That, really, uh, that, that really highlights the idea that we're not some random wait. jackasses they just decided to kidnap. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh, it's like we're in a villain's secret lair. Huh. Didn't think that would happen. I guess the recognition worked. Yeah. Yeah, if, if we were wondering still if we're random people or not, it's definitely sealed the deal that we're definitely not random people that got kidnapped when his personal photo unlocks a puzzle. Look! Oh, hey, there's a helmet for the suit of armor. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Burp. The armor's helmet. There's red paint on it. Like, like Braveheart. Exactly like Braveheart. <laughs> What is this lever? There's a lever next to the chair. Why don't you pull it? What's going to happen? Come on, is it really that hard to figure out? You think it's going to back into the wall? Pull the damn thing and find out! Why is, All right. this, why is this a confrontation? Yeah. What's your problem? I guess I should start by sitting in the chair. Ah! Uh. I pull the lever. Uh, wait, no, Sigma, wait, <laughs> give me a second, Sigma, no. Here I go. Sigma, no, let's, if we need to stab the balloon or something, slingshot the balloon. Wait, could you not do a 3D spin e. of that? Yeah, that, that, that's too much work. Battery. Looks like there's something on the table. Is that a battery? I but guess uh, combine uh, it with uh, the tablet? Yep. No, combine it with the helmet. <laughs> Combine it with the historical adventure. It's on. I don't need to be looking at this right now. I can take care of it when I get back to the other room. That's their that's their catch-all dialogue for looking at any item in this room because the because Quark and Temioji aren't here and they only wrote that version of the dialogue. Yeah. P. There's a P painted on the wall in red paint. Okay. Ooh. This is how much I can slide. That's the entirety of how much I can slide. Well, you're making progress. You're slowly getting out of that chair. <laughs> if I pull it again, the chair should turn back around, right? Ah, whatever. Not like I have a choice. Huh. Woo -woo 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 can you take the cap off the brandy? The cap off the brandy? Yeah. I don't know. Huh. I don't know. Oh wait, what's that thing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Andrew. Man, this safe is really big. There's gotta be like a hundred billion dollars in there. Eh, <laughs> you're such a kid. Maybe they're hiding something they really don't want people to see. Like some videos. 
Or it's just the inside of a puzzle. In a puzzle game. I'm not sure I like where you said wait. Uh, I'm not sure I like the way you said that. Let's just open it and find out. Uh, I don't think. See? Is it locked? Yeah. There's a circular input panel on top of the handle. Looks like one of the pressure exchange chambers door. So if we just do the same thing we did then. <laughs> when you select the yellow guide ring, oh, other rings will appear on points so you can draw lines to. Select one of the other rings to draw a line connecting the two. Repeat the process to connect all three pairs. Uh, remember, however, that the lines should not overlap and cross one another. All right, let's do it. Oh, they're just reusing puzzles. <laughs> oh, now bring like, out the world map. Like, yeah, yeah, it's the map. So that's why I was like, saying, like, just this, this puzzle looks familiar, right? Yeah. We did the same puzzle. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, my man. My man. My man. They're just explicitly reusing puzzles now. All right. All right, so white to blue, green to... Red. Magenta. Red, magenta, magenta. And purple to yellow. Purple to yellow. Can you remember those? Yes. So white to blue. Purple to magenta. No. no. Green or green, green to magenta. To ma green to magenta. Shit. And, and it was yellow to purple? Yeah, yellow to purple. Well. You fucked up, you know, it's just because you fucked up on the white to blue. Well. Well. Because I'm only human. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? I don't know. What's wrong with you? It's a song that's stuck in my head. Oops. No, what, wait, what are I you doing? I didn't mean to press B. What are you doing? Uh, there's a retry button, but Fuck it pressed B on accident, so we gotta do the dialogue. Oh, it's dialoguing. The retry, retry, retry. Damn it, Keith. Yeah. It was purple to yellow? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> It's not great news. Yeah, it is. That makes the line awkward. That's across the whole map. And it was white to blue. How is this gonna work? Um. You can check the world map again if it would help you. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Dickington isn't going to help us here. <laughs> He'll always help us. Yeah, yellow and purple. Yeah. That looks hard, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, inherently... Wait, what if you do... Like, yellow and purple are on opposite sides from each other, so that, may, that really fucks up a lot of abilities to do things. I figured it out. Ba -da -ba -ba -do 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 -do. Okay. You can go through the middle. That's the trick. What about white to blue? White to blue. Now red to green. Yep. Ah. Yeah, you just had to cut through the middle. That was the whole, that was the whole trick. That's what makes the seemingly impossible thing possible. Boom. Da -da -da -da. Good job. You did it, me. <laughs> Because I'm the one that did it. <laughs> yeah, nice work. Very impressive. Let's have a look inside. A hundred billion dollars. Okay, stop saying that. Videos. Yeah, yeah. It's Grandpa's porn stash. Ah. Oh, that's alarming. <laughs> <laughs> that face, <laughs> Tenmyoji's yeah. face is perfect. Tenmyoji's face is like, oh no. He's got a, he's so specifically perfect in that expression. Sorry guys, looks like all we've got is a binder and a deer. Really? Really? You couldn't just say that we got a buck? Yep. All we have is a buck? Yep. Sure. It's because fine. that's a that's fine localization team. Just don't bother to make any American, I mean, English puns. Let's just only use the Japanese puns that don't translate, but let's not make any English ones. Wait, what is the. It's a. They thought money was inside, and what they found was a buck. 
Holy fuck, that's an easy joke. Uh, okay, so hold on. <laughs> that's all they had to do. The Yakuza team would never stand for this. Their localization would make all the jokes. <laughs> God damn it. And... Oh. That's the best you could do? So, it's a bind deer? Fuck oh you. Oh god. You suck at this. What the hell is this? Is you just making fun of us? I, would, I thought that'd be ten billion dollars, but all that there was was a buck. <laughs> That's all you had to do. It's so easy. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, you like did the most strained pun ever. Andrew. Sorry, I'm checking. What are you looking up? I'm trying to find out if there's a pun about deer or yeah. something in Japanese. Oops. Now, now your phone's talking to us. Oh, no. Sorry. What are you doing? Are you trying to Google Translate deer? Huh, okay. Are you Google Translating binder and deer? Yeah, I was trying to translate to see if it created a different word, because that Japanese works that way. If you take two different, or like two separate words and combine them together, it creates a new word. Huh. So I was trying to see, because you know, it's all symbol based. Yeah. <laughs> so I was trying to see if it did anything, but it doesn't. Or at least not that I can tell right now. Yeah. It, I mean, if someone who knows Japanese far more fluently were to check, I'm sure it is a joke somewhere. <laughs> but our translators have not been able to find the joke. <laughs> yeah, please send. Please, uh, Chunsoft needs more translators for the uh, Japanese visual novel team. <laughs> All right, so there's a binder in the safe. It's got two pieces of paper in it. Business card instructions. All right. <laughs> I guess that'll spell it out. You know what? I have a better- I like it when you find puzzles in an area that just are literally unsolvable, and then when you find the thing that explains how to solve the puzzle, it's not like a clue, it's like, here's the instructions. Yeah. To just do it. You know what we would be really cool? Let's put that deer in our pox. In our inventory? Yeah. Oh, that's going there. Oh. Bob, Chris, John, Tony, Ian, Michael. So, oh. oh, so that's where they need to be. Oh, it's one of those logic puzzles. Yeah. Kate likes to be next to Michael. Sophie likes to be on the very right. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Men have a sign ceiling, but women get to choose. Evidently. Into my body. The deer's looking at me, Grandpa. Buck up! It's just a fake! Uh, ah. So they do know that word. <laughs> Put that whole thing inside of our pocket. Yeah. Well, we're holding it somewhere. Whatever the fucking inventory comprises of in this game. So now we just hang that on the wall where there's that, uh, paint right up there? Yeah. They thought it was an outlet? What the fuck? Yeah, it's a mount. Well, it looks like you were right. It's a mounted deer! The paint on the deer and the wall behind it looks like it fits together. Hard to tell what it's from here, though. It's an E. Maybe if we look at it from another angle. It's, yeah, it's I, would, I hope, I wished you would. Could you fucking look at it? No, you gotta go back. There you go. There we go. Alright, e. so we have an E, we have a P. Right, we still have to put this here. We have two L's. Help. <laughs> Hel Is it gonna be hell again? Yeah. Wait, no, we had a P already. Help, yeah. Yeah, that suits him. Ha, 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 ha. The paint on the helmet and the armor line up! But I can't really tell what it is from here, from this angle. Who would say that out loud instead of just immediately adjusting themselves? Children. That's not human dialogue. It looks kind of warped. I don't have object permanence yet, so I can't try to even begin to think about moving around to look at it from different angles. Oh God. We brought like an infant with us. <laughs> the Pearl Lurlergurm. Slingshot. There's a balloon in the middle of the room. Slingshot it. Dork. N nerd. Nerd. You must be feeling pretty tired, Tenryoji. All the excitement can't be easy for someone of your age. Why don't you just sit down for a bit? Huh. I'm not so old that I need the likes of you to worry about me. That's so. Well, I think I'll just have a seat then. Ah. Uh. Slingshot. Huh? What's that? Oh, the brandy over there makes an H. Ish looking thing. Kind of, something like that. 
Uh, I think we might we might block some of them though. Oh, maybe you have to rearrange the books until they make a letter. Uh, but that's definitely an L on the suit of armor, which we could tell from that angle, despite what Quark said. Yeah. <laughs> you think maybe it's an eye watching us? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's a target! Like a bullseye. Yeah, you're supposed to shoot it! Shoot it with what? Don't be an idiot! You've already got what you need! Wow, Timmy Yoji's calling us out. Okay, I'll just sling, I'll use a slingshot to, uh... Whoa, well, hold on there! Do you actually have something to fire? Oh... No, I guess I don't. What are you going to shoot it with, then? With mind bullets. It's called telekinesis, Sigma! Anyway, I figured that'd slip your mind like everything else. Here, I grabbed this off the floor earlier. Take it! What? Oh, this is the key we use to start the facial recognition device. Thanks, man. I guess I don't have to use my special uh, special psychic powers after all. But did he ever retrieve his family, his like beloved one's photo? Because I felt like he just left that. Well, I mean, you never know how when you're gonna need to turn the car thing around. No, it has a lever now. Now we can just turn it. Oh. Here goes, aiming. Three. Just sounds like someone sitting on a leather chair. Two, one. Whoa, nice aim! You got it right in the center. Was there nothing in it? Look down. You, that. Look, 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 look down. Is it just a balloon? It, was that literally just to reveal the E that we could already see up there? Wait, what's on the floor of oh, the balloon? Is that all you revealed? Yeah. Really? Seems like it. The, Where's the, the balloon at? The fuck fuckity? It's right down here. What's that? That's what it was tied down to. It's the weight that held it down. Oh. And then the balloon itself is just... All you can see is the, the color it was and the, and the target is kind of still visible on it.